Hi, you Ming families. Happy Lunar New Year and Black History Month to all of you. Uh, my name is Enner Chu, and I am the very proud father of two you Ming students, Vivian Chu in sixth grade and Alana Chu in fifth grade. Uh, I've worked for many years at an organization called East Bay Asian Local Development Corporation, or IBALDSI, which was started in Oakland Chinatown, but today builds affordable housing, uh, community facilities, and healthier neighborhoods in many different areas of Oakland, Emeryville, and Contra Costa counties. Uh, I wanted to shout out another Yuming family, my friends Tommy Wong and Lily Wong, uh, and their three kids who also attend Yuming. Tommy collaborated with another artist, Ms. Tarika Lewis, an original Black Panther Party member, on the design of this really cool t-shirt that I'm wearing. And I was so happy uh, to be invited by Yu Ming to share a little bit about what Asian Black Unity and Black History Month means to me as a parent, as a community developer, and as part of my wife Tiffany's Asian American family, which has been here in California since the 1850s. So I wanted to talk about it through the lens of a local hometown hero, Mr. William Byron Rumford. Mr. Rumford was an extraordinarily important person locally and nationally. In 1948, while working full-time as a pharmacist in Berkeley, he became the first Black person elected to the California State Legislature from the Bay Area. His biggest achievement, though, something that profoundly changed America, was the landmark legislation that he wrote and passed in 1963, which was California's Fair Housing Law, and uh, became known as the Rumford Act. His legislation was the foundation for the National Fair Housing Act of 1968. I cannot tell you how important these laws are. Many of our Yuming families, whether we're Asian, Black, Latino, or Jewish, are lucky to live in homes that we own. And if you are a multi-generational homeowner like my family is, that real estate is the basis for what has allowed us to become middle class or professionals or to take risks as an entrepreneur. It is the foundation of our family's wealth and economic security. But this wasn't something that just happened. People had to fight for it. In particular, African Americans fought for our collective right to own real estate, to be able to buy a home in any neighborhood. California realtors, the real estate industry, and even politicians like the up-and-coming Ronald Reagan back in the 1960s fought against the Rumford Act and tried to get it repealed after it was passed. They thought that home sellers should have the right to discriminate against home buyers and refuse to sell to them if they were of a different race. And for many decades, people did that, which denied a lot of families of color from entering into the middle class. So when we talk today about Asian Black unity, we don't do it just to feel good or to be sentimental about it. We do it because we recognize that when one group fights for our society to become more inclusive, it benefits all of us. Bringing it back to you, Ming, did you know that there is a statue of Mr. Rumford on Sacramento Street and Alcatraz Avenue in West Berkeley, just a few blocks from the Yuming Alcatraz campus. If uh, you have a chance, go and check it out and also check out a recent podcast by my friend uh, who runs this podcast called East Bay Yesterday. I highly recommend it. I'm so grateful that our family is a Yuming family. So grateful that we're taking time to recognize how we're all connected to one another and so grateful to our hometown hero, Mr. William Byron Rumford. Thank you so much.